Hi, my name is Jeffrey Seelman. I'm a teacher, exorcist, and professional psychic. I want to talk to you a little bit today about haunted houses. Is your home haunted? A lot of people don't realize what a haunted home really is. We all generate emotional energy, every single one of us. And so do spirits. Some emotional energies are good for us and some are not. But we all generate emotional energies all the time, 24 hours a day. That can accumulate. Those emotional energies can accumulate in our living environments. Whether you live in an apartment or a condo or a single family home. Emotional energy from past occupants and even present occupants can and does affect the emotional energy of your living environment and that can lead to all sorts of different kinds of problems. Problems with sleep, anxiety, anger, health, all sorts of issues can be attributed to emotional energy that is accumulated, that is built up inside of your home over the years, over the decades, depending on how old your home is. And even if it's not old, present occupants naturally release emotional energies. We all release emotional energies, and that accumulates in our living environment. And it can be said in one way that that is what haunts a home. Emotional energy from past events, from feelings that we release at night, in the daytime, during arguments, when we think about other people, we also release emotional energies into our environments, wherever we happen to be. We release emotional energies. And those emotional energies can affect other people we live around or who visit our home. Apartment, condo, it doesn't matter how big or small your living environment is. We all are susceptible to emotional energies that we generate and other people generate, including our loved ones, in our home. Spirits can also generate emotional energies. If there's enough emotional energy in your home, spirits can actually transmit that emotional energy into your personal energy fields, your body's personal energy fields, if you're not protecting yourself properly, spirits can and they do affect people and they can affect you on an emotional level, amplifying your angers and fears, problems with sleep. They can actually interact with us on the dream realm. It's vitally important to keep your home free and clear of emotional energies that are negative. Not the positive ones. Love and kindness uh, are good for your environment, but not all emotional energies are good for your environment. Anger, depression, rage, all sorts of feelings that have a corresponding emotional energy to them, and maybe you had nothing to do with that. Maybe former occupants of your home, apartment, or condo have left their emotional energy in your place. You could be living in a sea of emotional energies from other people. Have it cleared. Negative emotional energies build up in everyone's living environment and we need to keep our living environment clear just like we clean the walls and the floors and the windows and everything else in our living environment 
we need to clear our emotional atmosphere as well. We need to clean it, to clean the emotional atmosphere of our living environment. Don't let someone else's past ruin your future. If you want to get a hold of me, go to www.starclear.com. I'm Jeffrey Seelman. See you next time.